This year I am at the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study where I'm completing my, my book on Firing Line, which was uh, William F. Buckley Jr.'s public affairs show that ran on PBS from 1966 to 1999. And Buckley was a key figure in pushing the extremists out of the conservative movement and forging a more uh, mainstream image for right-wing conservatism. Firing Line premiered in 1966 at a moment when people thought liberalism had really won in America. He created the show in large part to debate with liberal guests to put liberals and left-wingers on the firing line, hence the name of the show. Um, and uh, to uh, show what a proper right-wing conservative response would be to the left and to liberals. So if you watch the show from 66 to 80, which is in many ways the golden age of the show, you see him encounter um, so many of the key liberals and left-wingers of that era, it's astounding. The, the uh, people like Betty Friedan from the Women's Liberation Movement, uh, Huey P. Newton and Eldridge Cleaver from the Black Power Movement, uh, Nixon was on the show uh, before he was president, uh, Reagan was on the show several times, Barry Goldwater was on the show. Um, uh, uh, Victor Navasky, the former uh, editor of The Nation, and so you really get to see the encounter between left and right over this period um, as the country started veering more to the right. People who were later not uh, obscure were on the show when they were obscure. For example, uh, a very young Marine named uh, Oliver North was on the show. Uh, shortly after the My Lai Massacre when there were debates over war crimes happening in Vietnam. You could have, uh, or you could have, Mr. Buckley, uh, a Marine general or an Army general come down here on this show and tell you uh, what his specific orders were when he was a colonel, or you could have a lieutenant colonel come up and tell you. And I think it would be uh, massively disbelieved because here's a man who, in the eye of the public, because of the way this thing has been presented, uh, is trying to cover his... Uh, his tail, if I'm to use the vernacular, with paper. Uh, I think I'd want to go on the set of Firing Line and watch it happening live. Um, I'm not sure which episode because there's so many good ones. Um, the, the shows often start with a camera um, moving over the crowd. There's a couple of great episodes, um, one with Timothy Leary and one with the filmmaker Otto Preminger, shot with students from Queens College asking really great That's questions. Do you plan in the future to use these means to uh, to settle with uh, present-day problems? Let, let's say, not, let's say, as in the Cardinal, you dealt with Nazism. Or what, do you plan to deal with, let's say, communism? If I have a chance, yes. You know, I would like to make a, a film. What are you know? waiting for? Hmm? What are you waiting well, for? Well, a story. You see, I make films. I basically needed the Cardinal was a personal story. How about I chose freedom? <laughs> well, might be interesting. Whether you're politically the left or the right or more towards the center, I think you can really learn a lot uh, from uh, thinking about William F. Buckley, from looking at his program, uh, because it was a space where left and right could have honest debate. Um, sometimes it was clear who had won, often it was not clear who had won. You could watch it as a liberal and learn about liberalism. You could watch this conservative and learn about conservatism, and what and learn about Buckley's idea of what true conservatism was, um, and it was a, a moment when political debate was not driven by sound bites. Um, there was real discussion. These were hour-long shows. Um, and so in a cable news environment like we have now, it's hard to find that kind of extended debate. People get a minute to be a talking head and then you move on to the next person. Um, not to the cable news is, is divided politically so that you have the liberal station, the conservative station, you know, Fox News, MSNBC. Um, and uh, Firing Line is set, presents such a different picture of how we could debate politics, how we could think about politics, and how we could listen to each other. Uh, on the left and the right.